Okay guys, so a couple quick tips of how to use your Blender artwork inside Construct 2. The first thing that I'll show you is how to export from different angles. So what we can do is, you may not be aware of this hotkey, uh, I think it was in the shark tutorial, but control alt zero will set the camera to the current location. Okay, so if I zoom out more, control alt zero. Um, okay, and then I can press G, oops, G on the camera and set up to where I want. Now, what you'll probably want to do is set up orthographic, like you kind of want it uh, orthographic, right? Like front and side and so on for your game. Or maybe top view. Let's do top view just for fun. Okay, so what we'll actually have to do, if you've highlighted the camera, and you can select it up here as well in your um, outliner here, there's a little icon that looks kind of like a video camera. Okay, so we click that. And we can change the lens to orthographic. Okay, now we'll have to bring the orthographic scale out in order to fit the character there. Okay, so now you can see I'll render. Of course, I don't have any lights. Uh, let me just add a, a light quick. I've got a lamp right here. Okay, just making that very quick. Okay, so there's a top view of my character. Um, the other thing we can do is if I go to my camera settings and I have to change this blender render here to cycles render. Okay, and that will give us a few more options. And the option that I'm most interested in is down here under film. If I check off transparent, now when I render it, it'll actually be a transparent background. Okay, so it makes it, makes it very easy to uh, import this into another program. Okay, so by default, your image is exported to a temporary folder. You can see right here it says output TMP. So that is just a temporary folder where all of your renders go. If you want to save that to a specific folder, um, we can actually change this output folder. Okay, so instead of C temporary, you might put in your H drive. You could call it like Blender, Blender renders or something. Okay, then any, anything you, you render will be in that folder. Okay, so I could do like a top view. I could do a, let's get a front view here. Control Alt Zero to set my camera. Let's just, uh, you know, stick that there. And then I can bring back my orthographic scale to fit the entire character in there. And then I can render F12. Okay, now I have a front view. You can see it has still preserved the transparent background. I'm sorry it's kind of dark in your screen. Maybe I'll, if I set this guy to a different color. Let's see. Make him yellow, okay. There. Okay, let's put it back to cycles render. Okay, that might be a little bit better. It's still, it's still dark. I think there's too much light in this room. But you can see, you can import that into your game. Now, the last thing I wanted to show you, if anyone wants to kind of take this to the next level, what we can actually do, let me just uh, go front view here. Um, I'm just gonna hide my camera for the time being because it's in the way. Um, I'm actually gonna add a skeleton to this character. So that's called an armature. So I can press Shift A and we add an armature, okay? So we're gonna start off with a single bone. Where'd that go? Oh, is it way over here? Okay, let's uh, bring that into place. Okay, so I can scale this up if it's too small. Oops. Okay, that should be good, maybe a bit smaller. Okay, now from this point, I want to extrude more bones. Okay, so I've added an armature, and again, it's just Shift A, just like we add a mesh. Now, if I select the armature, tab into edit mode, I can select just this node here, and I can press E to extrude. And actually, could someone hit the lights? It might be easier to see. Okay, so I just E to extrude, then click. 
E to click again. And all I'm doing is making, I'm basically making a skeleton for my, for my character. Okay. Now I'm going to have to set that up properly in a sec. Okay, because he's got backwards knees. Okay, so I've got a basic armature. Um, there are a couple things I'll have to adjust, like uh, the angle of the joint here. But otherwise, it looks pretty good. Okay, so that's what I end up with. Okay, so you can see that's inside of my character. Now I go back to object mode, and what I want to do is select my mesh first. Oops, right click, and then right click my armature. Okay, okay, then I can, uh, I want to set a parent. Okay, so uh, make parent, and then I want to do uh, armature deform with automatic weights. Okay, so control P is the hotkey for that. Okay, that'll take a second. Um, now, if I select the armature and go to pose mode, you can see something pretty cool. I can uh, rotate the arm. Okay, let me just, uh, there. Okay, so you can see I can rotate the arm. I can constrain it on an axis. Okay, so R and I guess it would be Z would rotate the arm forward. Okay, and so on. So you could pose your character, export it, and so on. Um, another thing that I would recommend doing, if you're going to go this route and do lots of poses, is to actually name your bones. Okay, so you can see uh, this bone here, I could call this like, you know, torso. This bone here would be um, left arm, upper, and so on. Okay, right arm, upper. Okay, that way I can just click the bone from the outliner here and then I can, I can pose it. Okay, it's also possible to do animations in Blender quite easily. If I press I, that will insert a keyframe and I'll just do whole character, which is the bottom one. And then I can drag my slider down on the timeline down here over a little bit. And then I can, uh, you know, for instance, move this arm up, press I again. And what I end up with is an animation. Okay, so you could do this for your characters' attacks or make their legs move or whatever. Okay, I can help you with that if you're interested in doing the doing this. Um, yeah, I think that is good for now. Oh yeah, the last thing is when you export and you want to export an animation, we click this render animation, and what that'll actually do, I'll show you this, it's going to render each frame of the animation separately. Okay, so it will take a little while. You see that the arm's slightly moving every time. And this is actually easy to import into Construct 2 because we'll have individual images. Okay, I'll just cancel this for now.